Hello class from the beautiful mountains of Alabama. My name is Richard Garcia and we'll go over my integrated leadership model. Here's the agenda of items we will cover during this presentation. The first item we'll cover are the core competencies. So vision is where you want to end up in the future. Gill recommends a vision take you anywhere from 3 to 20 years. Strategy, simply put, is how you intend to get there. To meet your vision. Engagement is something you do with uh, your employees to help them find meaning in their work. Uh, Khan uh, pointed out that when employees find meaning in their work and they are fully engaged in it, they do tend to perform better. Empowerment is also something you do with your employees to empower them to carry out the strategy and meet the vision. Now there is a lot of disagreement on what is empowerment versus delegation. I'll get more on that later. And then value should be the basis for all of your decision making. Next, you see the leadership model. So the first thing you'll notice is that I am not a graphic designer. I am a logistician. The second thing you'll notice is all based around the word no, because I think it is important that you must know before you make a decision or try and lead anyone anywhere. The third thing you'll see is it is shaped uh, like a compass and that's purposeful because I believe following this model will lead you to a better tomorrow. So the directions themselves are also purposeful. So we'll start with the true north, which is yourself. You have to know yourself, your strengths, your weaknesses, and then the core companies associated with yourself are vision. You have to know where you want to be in the future. And then anytime there's a vision, there needs to be a strategy to achieve that vision. And then as I said uh, in the last slide, values should be associated with everything. Next on the east, you have the job. So what is it that you do and the values associated with that job? For example, in the legal field, um, their, one of their values is to always represent the best interests of the client. And then in the South, you have the organization. So just like yourself, the organizations have vision and they have strategy. You have to know your organization. What are they good at? What do they need help with? And the organization is in the South because you should always be ahead of the organization looking to bring them up. Next in the West Quadrant, you have the people. So the people, you engage with them. You empower them. And you insist, assist them in accomplishing the job and assisting the organization and yourself. And the key thing with this compass is balance. So you go too far to the east, which is the job, you'll lose sight of the people, and then the job won't happen. You go too far to the west and worry only about the people, then the job falls off the map. Same thing with the north-south axis. You worry too much about the organization, you're going to burn yourself out and you're going to fall off. Likewise, if you worry too much about yourself, uh, the organization is going to fall off and you'll quickly find yourself without a job. Next are the results for my self-assessment. So just to uh, give them information, I am a captain in the Army. I just got done commanding 220 uh, soldiers. It was a company command. So I do have experience in leadership. So it should ma matches my strengths, um, vision, strategy, engagement, because I was responsible for creating the vision and the strategy for my unit. So I did do that for two years. And then I had to engage with people every day. Now, weaknesses were values and empowerment. Um, with values, I, I still have a kind of warlike mentality I have in the ploy choice of get the job done no matter what, worry about how you do it maybe later just get it done so i am trying to break that mentality and have a more um, civilian mindset towards values and then with empowerment it's not that i micromanaged but what i found is i delegated more than empowered so my plan to improve is to associate my values more with the organization i'm with and then practice true empowerment as opposed to just delegation so my short-term plan, as you see through the Bee Gees, is staying alive. I am currently up for promotion to major. If I do not get selected for promotion, then I will be out of a job. Likewise, if I do get selected for promotion, I am, it is, I am up for a deployment. I haven't deployed since 2015, so it'll be my time to go. So staying alive will take a more literal context. 
Uh, so that was my presentation. I hope you all enjoyed it. I truly enjoyed being in this class and engaging with you all. For those of you that are leadership and organizational development majors, I'm sure we'll meet again.